Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Lion Lost, Wolves of Daisy, and the Great Escape server for making this video possible. Daisy Update 1.19 is one of the biggest, most detailed patches that we've seen in a long time. So to get everybody up to speed with what has changed, I've created a list of the 30 most important changes that everybody should be aware of going into 1.19 and what to expect in future Daisy patches. Mm. Like usual, we're going to be splitting these 30 important changes into four different categories, starting with all of the new stuff in 1.19. The Humvee is the first vehicle we've seen added in a very, very long time and it just so happens to be the best vehicle due to its windows being somewhat bulletproof to lower caliber rounds but it also absorbs a lot of the damage of higher caliber rounds too. It introduces the glow plug that works a lot like the spark plug, has an automatic gearbox and spawns in military areas. The SSD-82 is a mid-tier sniper rifle like the Pioneer that spawns in police locations and has a fixed optic as standard. It fires the 545 by 39 rounds and does 115 damage up close killing unprotected players up to 110 meters away. The BK-12 is basically the BK-43 double barrel shotgun but this new BK-12 only has one barrel. Like other shotguns in DayZ, it fires the three types of 12 gauge shells so it is very deadly with buckshot and spawns more often than the double barrel, I guess to balance its lack of a second barrel. The GPS receiver spawns in hunting location requires a 9 volt battery to switch on, detailing the X, Y and Z of your current location, with Z being the altitude of your current location. When combined with a map you will see all of these numbers in the bottom left hand corner and the numbered grid on the horizontal and the vertical will display the X on the horizontal and the Y on the vertical. The blowtorch spawns in industrial locations and require any of the free gas canisters to get working with these gas canisters spawning in villages and hunting locations. The blowtorch works a lot like the lighter, only becoming active when it can actively repair stuff, but it also lights fireplaces. The three new plate carriers are simply a reskin of the plate carrier we already have in the game, introducing colour matching pouches and a holster too, while being absolutely identical stats wise to the original. The original plate carrier still spawns on heavy infected type, the camo version spawns on Chernerus in tier 3 and tier 4 military locations, and the black and the green version only spawn in the new 1.19 underground bunker. This means you cannot get the camo version on Livonia and you cannot get the black or green version on Chernerus because Chernerus doesn't have a bunker. The new bunker is located in the southwest of Livonia at Dambog, only allowing access if you have the punched card which is found in static gas zones or from the new infected type that has a hip holster. This hip holster wielding infected only spawns at the new military convoys but sadly doesn't drop its hip holster and five of these military convoys spawn on Chernerus and Livonia, working a lot like heli crashes that they spawn and despawn randomly. Because they're convoys though, they will mostly be found along or on roads containing some of the best military loot available on the map. If your character is underwater at all, you can drown very quickly after your breath or stamina gets drained. When your stamina reaches zero, you will die in about 10 seconds from full health. In the patch notes it says you cannot swim while you're handcuffed, which I was assuming would mean that you drown when you're handcuffed, but no, you can still swim like in last patch. The same goes for being very heavy while swimming or carrying heavy objects like car doors, so the only way that I see people actually drowning this patch is inside submarine vehicles, which will give you a blue hint indicator when you are drowning to differentiate it from shock damage. Similar to how shock damage is displayed with these dark edges on your screen, bleeding now has a visual indicator that displays how much you're bleeding, with each of these blood splats I believe resembling a different bleed, maybe. I need to test this more. When phone or dropped, most objects will now make a sound that can be heard by you and other players, which means that players will now hear when grenades are thrown at them, because when an object interacts with a surface, it makes a distinctive sound. On PC, if you press the spacebar, you can activate the handbrake, which will allow you to drift around corners, which is very difficult to use, and is indicated by this new UI icon down here. The handbrake and the normal brake are exactly the same on four-wheel drive vehicles, so the Humvee and the Lada aren't affected by the handbrake, but using the handbrake on any other vehicle will make it lose control very easily. All vehicles now have a fuel tank hitbox that can be repaired with a new blowtorch or epoxy putty. These fuel tanks are very resistant to bullet damage but will ruin the engine once the fuel tank becomes ruined so they kind of share a health pool, displaying the quality level on the UI here of the fuel tank which leaks just like the radiator does but cannot be replaced like the radiator can. All vehicles now have horns that can be activated with the H key on PC with all horns being heard up to 200 meters at a maximum by players. At the time of testing, Infected couldn't hear this horn but in the future they most likely will. The biggest change to this patch is certainly how vehicles feel to drive, doing a lot less crazy stuff and feeling much more fun and reliable to get around Daisy quickly but they're not 100% fixed so don't believe that it won't kill you any second. 
The vehicle UI also now displays when you lose grip or when you have the handbrake applied and the radiator and new fuel tank icon match the quality level color of both of these with the radiator pluming smoke consistently when low on water or when ruined. Turbo and brake now theoretically have three settings each. Holding shift is on the left, holding control is on the right and holding neither of these is in the middle. Shift allows you to aggressively accelerate and brake. Control allows you to accelerate slowly and brake slowly with not holding either of these being somewhere in the middle. Simulated inertia has been added to character movements to slow down quick changes in direction or speed which is basically just a series of delays on actions of which you can see the delay times here in seconds. Holding an optic in your hand also has this inertia delay too making them feel very weird to use which I believe will be fixed because hip fire and ADS has no inertia delay on there. The police car dynamic events in previous patches have been converted into what's called police situations which basically means they've been redesigned to make them look better and spawn more loot. The smoke rounds for the M79 grenade launcher now inflicts 110 health damage up from zero health damage so can one shot players and infected if they're not military infected and the flare gun now does 10 health damage per shot but will require three headshots to kill most infected so it's not worth using as it attracts infected from far and wide. The health damage of the 545x39 rounds has been increased from 80 to 115 and the shock damage from 90 to 115 too. This means the new SSG82 does good damage and buffs the AK74 damage slightly too at the cost of reducing its bullet speed, but it still has a net buff that almost brings it in line with the AK101 and AKM. The Mosin bayonet can no longer be used to skin animals or prepare fish but can still be used to stealth kill and do other useful stuff whereas the AK and M4 bayonet on the other hand can now do everything that a normal knife can do including being attached to the knife sheath and the rope belt but the SKS bayonet still cannot be attached to these. Liquids can now be poured much faster due to a multiplier being added to these slow transferring containers such as the gas canister or the barrel, making these items 100 times better at allowing you to fill up your vehicles with fuel in a fraction of the time as last patch. The containers like the water bottle and the cooking pot remain roughly the same as they were last patch though, but all liquid containers can now be emptied without having to look down. The immune system got another nerf this patch and I'm afraid to say that this one is the big one. In the previous patch you could drink dirty pond water and eat guts with bloody hands when all four of your stats were white and full but now you need to be close to maximum hunger and water to be immune to all this stuff. The quantity of hunger and first last patch to be immune was 6,300 units total. Now you need over 9,000 which means unless you maintain maximum hunger and first you won't be immune to these so multivitamins are the only way realistically to be immune now. You can now untie other players without any tools which applies to all restraining methods, even handcuffs, taking the same amount of time to remove the restraints as if you were untying yourself. A knife or handcuff keys will be faster though. In the previous patch you could stop the vomit animation from playing and losing stats by locking yourself into an animation such as being on a ladder, swimming or being inside a vehicle but in this patch you will lose stats without animations needing to be played. Stealth kills are now much smoother looking too and has a new variant that aims for the neck of the infected so your character will stand up and go for the neck and the sword has been added to the list of items that can stealth kill. This perhaps indicates that the sword will be making a return soon to DayZ as it still doesn't spawn which is a good thing because trying to stealth kill with it attaches you to the infected. Torches and brooms will now extinguish when you go swimming with them but you can still light them when they're wet and they won't go out in the rain and this is still a thing. The eye patch can be crafted with one rag and no tools adding a dark patch to your vision on the left side when you put it on and the devs have stated that this item is purely cosmetic. All optics and sights apart from binoculars and the night vision optics can be repaired with 25% of an electronic repair kit per quality level which can be found in industrial locations. This kit also repairs the glass of the optic too turning it from a complete broken mess to perfectly usable again. Sea chests and wooden crates can also be repaired, this time with wooden planks requiring two wooden planks per quality level and can be repaired to the pristine quality level. The improvised suppressor now has a blown out model giving us a great visual indicator that the next shot will be a regular shot and not suppressed. Also the improvised suppressor will now always be pristine when crafted regardless of the quality level of the items that you use to craft it. Now there is much, much more to learn on how Livonia, weapons and vehicles have changed this update so I'd highly recommend checking out these three videos to fully understand how this patch has changed stuff. Or if you're heading to the bunker, here's a guide for not getting yourself accidentally trapped down there. And finally, if you're wondering why your character was wiped this patch, all characters and maps have been wiped. Thank you very much for watching and have a good patch.